Hey guys, my name is Donnie and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of building a motorhome from scratch. And guys, in this episode it's going to be very, very exciting because I'm going to be making a lot of progress or that's the idea. But let me just put the camera into Chris fix mode and then I can show you exactly what we need to do. Alrighty guys, this is much better. So as you can remember in the last video, I got this motor home to run and drive. So I'm now happy that mechanically it is in such a state that I can continue with the rest of the motor home. And guys, I really, like I said, want to work from the front to the back. So I want to finish up this front part of the motor home and then work my way to the back. And I decided that I was going to start and use the front windshield as the reference and then work my way from there. But guys, because this new motor home is much wider than the original Avico was, I had to go and buy a new windshield. And this is what it looks like. This windshield is a little bit wider than the original one. And it will work for my application on the motor home. The thing is, obviously, there is nothing for this windshield to hang on to at the moment. So, I need to make a frame for this windshield that I can then fit onto the motor home in its position and then put the glass on top at the later stage and my first um, initial idea was making a frame out of aluminium that I can then weld into position but I decided that that was going to be too difficult to get the aluminium to fit perfectly on this windshield and not cause uh, stresses that will cause it to crack or fracture or anything like that so the next option that I considered and I'm going to use that is that I'm going to be making a frame out of a fiberglass because most of the outer piece of this motorhome's body is going to be fiberglass I'm going to start right in the front with fiberglass and then work my way back and I decided that I'm going to use this windshield as a mold so that I will know that when I demold it it will fit perfectly uh, the frame will fit or the glass will fit perfectly in the frame and guys a couple of things that I needed to consider was that the corners needed to be rounded so that that those corners where the windshield goes from the front to the back needs to be rounded and then also in the, the top and the bottom needs to be extended there needs to be some fiberglass meat that i can then work off of at a later stage to fit that frame to the body so guys what i've gone ahead and done is i've bought this piece of 110 mil pvc pipe it's a sewage pipe and what i can do now is cut a quarter or a half off of that and then temporarily put it on the side of this windshield at the bottom over here and it'll then cause it to round off a little bit and then I can start laying a couple of layers of fiberglass that when I demold that piece of PVC it's going to be rounded off and it should follow this line perfectly so that the glass will sit in there perfectly and on the sides I'm going to be using some hardboard as a guide and just put it in there and then put a couple of layers of fiberglass um, right from here to that side that's then gonna start forming the frame for this windshield and i also decided i'm going to be using some of that thinner that 40 millimeter pvc pipe that i'm going to put inside of the fiberglass frame just to box everything in and then put a couple of layers of fiberglass on top of that so that this whole frame will be nice and strong and sturdy and won't want to flex or anything like that and when i'm done with that i can de demold it off of this glass and then trim off the edges and i'll have myself hopefully a perfect frame that this glass will fit into perfectly that i can then take and put onto this motor and start fitting it and getting the angle correct so that the side windows and stuff like that will fit perfectly and work my way from there so that's going to be the first thing that i'm going to start doing cutting a couple of pieces of fiberglass getting those uh, pvc pipes into position and then layering a couple of layers of fiberglass let's get going
Alrighty guys, time for an update. I've now finished making this temporary mold for the windscreen bracket or the front of the motor. And you guys probably did notice that I started off with some cardboard to make the mold. It just didn't work out. It was untidy and it wasn't strong enough because there's a lot of uh, forces actually that is pulling everything straight and making sure that everything aligns. And that's why I put these trusses in here just to pull this whole thing into position. And at the end of the day, I used some of this plastic and it worked much, much better because I could then glue it with some double-sided sticky tape to the glass and it fits perfectly and there's no problem with delamination and so on uh, between the glass and the plastic. What I also did was I uh, put these 110 mil pipes that I cut into quarters on both sides and because the glass is curved in that direction and because the plastic needs to be straight in this direction I used the heat gun and I just heated up this plastic a little bit and shaped everything so that it would conform to the uh, the radius that I'm looking for and be straight on the sides and so on and what I did then guys was I just put some window putty all around the perimeter of this glass just to make sure that no fiber glass will go underneath the windscreen and inhibit it from coming loose properly and then I put a little bit of wax on top of everything just to make a hundred percent sure that the uh, products gonna come loose easily from the glass and the mold so what I can do now is I can start layering a couple of layers of fiber glass to start producing this product and after about three or so layers or four layers I can then start installing those plastic PVC pipes that I'm going to use to make the box around the windscreen just to give it extra strength and then put a couple of layers of fiber glass on top of that and hopefully everything will be nice and sturdy and in a couple of minutes I'll be able or in a couple of hours but in a couple of YouTube minutes I'll be able to remove the glass and see what type of product we've got let's get going Okay guys there we go I've now finished laying a couple of layers of fiberglass on the 
makeshift mold that I made and I put these PVC pipes in the perimeter of the windshield and put a couple of layers of fiberglass on top of that just to box everything in nicely and I believe that everything is nice and strong now and I left it to dry for a couple of days so what I can do now is I can take my grinder and I can start trimming off the perimeter or the edges of the fiberglass and then see if I can demold this piece that I made from the plastic underneath and get my windshield out without cracking it and then we can see what the result looks like. Let's go. guys there we go one by windshield frame and it is nice and strong and sturdy and guys there's still a lot of work that needs to be done to finish her off but at least I've got a frame now that the windshield fits in very very snugly and I can use this and fit it to the car and know that my windshield's gonna sit in there perfectly but guys I really want to put this windshield into position even if it's only temporary because I'm really excited to see what it looks like but what needs to happen for me to set this windshield Yopi. well what needs to happen for me to set this windshield is I need to get the angle correct and the angle needs to be the same as what the old door of the Iveco was because I'm going to be using that complete door structure over there the electric windows and the mirrors and everything and I want to get that exact shape but the material that I'm going to be using is a very exotic material and I'll only be getting that next week because I had to pre-order it. But for the meantime, I'm going to just cut out of a piece of hardboard the pattern from that wind window frame so that I can get the angle right. And then I'm going to put that hardboard up on the side and then I can get the angle of this windshield correct. And then I can just temporarily fit it so you can see what it looks like. Let's go. Alrighty guys, there we go. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this windscreen frame is looking fantastic. I love it. It's looking beautiful. Uh, this is going to be more or less the angle at which it's going to lay. Like I said, I took this hardboard and just took a profile off of that door. And now I can decide exactly where I'm going to be putting the side windows in so that they will match up with the interior and where the mirror is going to come and so on. But guys, at least I got this windscreen frame now ready to start fitting permanently. As soon as I get these side panels, I can just start fitting everything. And then I can commence forwards and start working on building a nose for this vehicle, which is going to be awesome. And yes, guys, I did sit there in the driver's seat and the passenger seat, and the visibility is beautiful. Uh, this whole front is going to go upwards even more if you can see it on the hardboard to there at the top. But this is what it looks like now. And like I said, I know that I've got a place for the windscreen to sit. I can now start working around all of this and finish up the front part of this cab and then move backwards. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, the main mission for this week was making this frame and I'm very happy with what it came out looking like. 
still got some work to finish off but obviously there's going to be a lot of other fiberglass work that needs to happen in the front and i can then start finishing off everything and also i did leave enough space here at the bottom for where the um, windscreen wiper motors are going to go and so on any guys guys that's going to be it for this video i hope that i'll see you next week so that we can make some more progress on this vehicle thanks for watching cheers